Hi, my name is Tiffany Ho. I'm a third year podiatry student and welcome to Dr. Blake's Healing Soul. Today I'm going to show you how to add a dentin modification onto an orthotic to help prevent excessive supination. As you can see on this orthotic, this addition known as the dentin modification has been added to the lateral side under the fifth and fourth metatarsals to help fill in a space and support the lateral column. As you can see, it doesn't add to the orthotic to wedge it, but instead it just fills in the space to create more surface area during gait with your orthotics. So first, you're going to take a piece of Corex, and this is rubber and cork that you can purchase from JMS online and you would cut out a piece to line up on the lateral side of your orthotic. You want it from the rear foot post to the edge of the plastic. So you'll take some barge glue and apply it to the modification and then you'll also apply some glue onto the lateral side of your orthotic where you'll place it. Now to speed up the drying process, we'll use an air dryer to dry the glue up. And this will take a few seconds to dry quicker. So when it's dry, you'll take the Corex and apply it onto your orthotic. However, you don't want it to wedge it at all or to not have a flat orthotic. So you'll grind it down and smooth it out with a grinder. <laughs> double check and make sure that the orthotic will sit flat and not tilt at all. And this way, when it sits flat, it won't be as uncomfortable if it wasn't. Thank you for coming to Dr. Blake's Healing Soul, and this is how you would do a dentin modification.